This little revolver here is a Colt New Pocket Revolver. They were made from 1895 to 1905. And they were made in a variety of barrel lengths from about, uh, I believe, from two and a half inches at, uh, clear on to uh, six inch. Uh, this one here is a three and a half inch one. And these little revolvers were some of the of Colt's uh, first, what you would call, modern double actions uh, in the, of the pocket variety. And this particular one was made in 1899. And before anybody gets too excited about the condition, it is a reblued one. And it was probably a gun that was carried a lot, but uh, not uh, shot very much. It does still lock up very tight. And of course it is empty. I always uh, check my guns before I ever start a video. But uh, until uh, it locks up extremely tight. Tighter than most modern revolvers do today. In, you know, with the, in the firing mode when you've got the trigger full back. But uh, when they did the buffing, they did remove uh, most of the markings. You can just barely see just the remnants of the markings here. And it does still have the, the markings on the barrel. Now these were made in two different calibers. They were made in uh, 32 long Colt and 32 uh, uh, Colt New Police. And the 32 Colt New Police is the same as 32 Smith & Wesson Long. And the 32 long Colt uh, also shot uh, 32 short Colt interchangeably. And here's some of the cartridges here. Uh, this is uh, 32 short Colt. And 32 long, it, these are still available uh, without a whole lot of trouble. Uh, 32 uh, long Colt is almost impossible to find these days. And this one is 32 Smith & Wesson long, which is still a reasonably common caliber, which is, like I said, the same as uh, 32 Colt New Police. Now this particular one is chambered in 32 uh, Colt. And as you can see here, the 32 Smith & Wesson uh, rounds are just slightly larger diameter than the 32 Colt round. See, if you try to put that in there, it uh, just lacks a little bit of fitting. It will not, uh, it will not push in there. While the 32 short Colt, it'll, uh, it'll drop right in. And again, it's clear. Now, I, one time I didn't measure the difference between these two uh, uh, cartridges, and uh, the difference is only a few thousands, but it is enough that you can't chamber the wrong one in this gun. The 32 Smith and Wesson long won't fit. But if you had a 32 Smith & Wesson chambered gun, 32 Smith & Wesson long chambered gun, the 32 Colt would fit in it. However, it's too small, and it probably wouldn't be a good idea to try firing them, but uh, unless you're specifically looking for this cartridge, they're, they're kind of on the rare side. They're still manufactured by Winchester ammunition but um, you don't see them very often and the 32 Smith & Wesson Long or Colt New Police is still a pretty common gun or per cartridge but um, these old guns are quite something uh, in 1905 the Colt changed the lock work in these a little bit and it became known as the pocket positive after that and it's very similar to the Colt New Police Revolver 
the new pocket has a round butt grip while the the new police is made on the same frame but it has a square butt grip and I've got one of these that I will put in another video sometime but they were nicely machined guns and the single action trigger on them is not too bad a little heavy but on these old Colts from this era they believed in heavy springs and uh, the double action pull is really really hard on these probably on the order of about uh, 12 to 14 pounds and Colts this old had a flat latch here and of course on a Colt you would pull it back to release the cylinder on Smith and Wessons and a, a lot of other revolvers you would uh, push the latch forward to release the cylinder and of course the a free floating ejector rod like all Colts and I'm no expert on these old Colts but they are they are fun and this one here is still uh, easily shootable if you, you well best shot single action uh, double action you want to be real close the trigger pull is something that you know heavy enough that it you unless you're really good you tend to pull it off target when you're pulling the trigger and if it was uh, an original uh, finish this would be fairly valuable but um, a reblue like this it's not exactly a collector's item but uh, is a good example of a gun from that era and basically it's just a, an old shooter and I guess that'll about do it for now I just wanted to let you have a quick look at it